musician Drake Milligan will be here in Lexington on Thursday, October 3rd at the Burl. And today he joins us and we're going to be talking all about his music and his upcoming show. Hey, Drake. Hi there. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Pretty dang good. So you just wrapped up your tour with Cody Johnson. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. We played, I think, 12 dates uh, all across the U.S. and in Canada with Cody, um, including in, in Lexington at Rupp Arena. And uh, we had a great time. It was just so cool. I mean, growing up in Texas, um, I've, I've been a fan of Cody Johnson for a long time. Um, you know, I got to see him in some small venues and then now to be opening up for him and, and see him sell out arenas every night. Uh, it's pretty cool, and Cody's, I think, one of the best entertainers in country music right now, so I was taking a lot of notes. So I know I was at your concert there here in Lexington um, back when he was here, and you put on one great show. So for the rest of the year, you will be doing your own shows, correct? That's right. Yep, yep, throughout the rest of the year. We're on our Jukebox Songs World Tour. Still. So tell Continued. me. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Continued World Tour. We've been on the on, on the road all year long. So tell me a little bit about your um, new EP, Jukebox Songs. Tell me all about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, so it was produced by Trent Wilman. Uh, my first time working with Trent. Trent uh, also produces uh, Cody Johnson's stuff. And a Texas guy, I've known him for a while. And, you know, we got together. And, and really, you know, the reason I called it Jukebox Songs, uh, there's first of all, there's a song on there called Jukebox Songs, Barstool Beers. And when I was trying to figure out what to name it, um, you know, I thought, I saw jukebox songs right there. I said, that's perfect, because that's kind of always what I'm looking for as far as when I'm writing songs, when I'm uh, looking for songs to cut on a record. Uh, I want songs that feel like they could fit in on some old jukebox somewhere. Um, songs that feel kind of uh, timeless in a way and and really kind of go for that kind of more old school, traditional kind of sound. Um, and I think we found some on this. So if people haven't heard of you, which I'm sure they have, everybody has, tell us a little bit about your music and your music style. Uh, so uh, really my stuff's kind of, you know, I call it kind of old school in a new way. Uh, a lot of my influences are, are, you know, traditional country, Merle Haggard, George Jones, uh, all the way up to George Strait, Alan Jackson. Uh, but I've also got, you know, I'm a huge Elvis fan and uh, I love kind of early rock and roll. Elvis, Roy Orbison, Buddy Holly, and that kind of thing too. So I try to incorporate a lot of that into my music and uh, kind of mesh those influences a little bit, if you will. And so this week you'll be at the Burl. Can you tell me a little bit about that show? So uh, it's gonna be fun. We, we've we been on the road all year long. Uh, as I was saying on our Jukebox Songs World Tour, uh, we've been uh, over in the UK, we've been in Scandinavia, we've been to Australia, uh, we've been to Canada and we just uh, we're really kind of um, really kind of hitting our stride now. You know, we've been playing all year long, and the show's gotten really good. The band's really tight. Uh, you'll be hearing uh, all of my, you know, most of my catalog, most of my songs that have been out. You'll hear some uh, old classic country covers, some old rock and roll covers. Uh, we try to cover all the squares and and, and have a great time. Well, like I said, you put on one heck of a show. I know um, I just got my tickets for this week's show, and I cannot wait to see you again. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. So what's next for you? So uh, really just, uh, yeah, keeping, uh, staying out there on the road. Uh, we're about to go in hopefully very soon and cut some new music and get another album out there to release next year, um, you know, and really just try to try to keep this train rolling as much as we can. Well, thank you so much, Drake, for joining us today. I know you're a busy man, and um, you'll be making your way to Lexington here soon and tell everybody to get their tickets. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much.